First of all, shouldn't Penny drop out now? Does she really have the support necessary? Uh, no, uh, Penny's been speaking to colleagues over the last few, few days. It's very clear she's got a huge amount of um, support. Myself and some other colleagues have also been engaging with, with MPs. It's very clear that many MPs think that, that Penny is, is a unifier. She can bring the party together. She can bring the country together. She's a formidable for, uh, performer in the House of Commons, both against um, Labour and um, the SNP. And as you've alluded to in the polling, I think the wider electorate view Penny as somebody that they could warm to um, as well. So for all those reasons, I think it's really important that Penny does go forward. We're very, very close to getting the nominations that we need to let her to go through to the next stage, and then the members can decide. Interestingly, last night, Boris Johnson said that he had the numbers required, but simply through the party management issue, he did not believe it would be right for him to go forward. Say if he got nominated barely over the line and then the mem members chose him, but the MPs were against him. That makes it very hard to govern a party. Why would Penny be in a different position were Rishi Sunak, as he is close to now, getting over half the parliamentary party, were Penny to just squeak in over that line and then win with the membership? Surely governance of the party would be very, very difficult indeed. Well, I've, I've spoken to um, many of the, the MPs who are backing um, Rishi. Indeed, I voted for, for Rishi during the, the summer stage of, of the last um, campaign. And many of them are, are, are not just colleagues, but friends. And I'm very sure, very clear that if Penny was to become Prime Minister, as I hope she, she does, they would all rally behind um, Penny and would come together as a unified party and government and help bring the country together as we face these um, formidable economic challenges. So I think Penny is uniquely placed. She has experience both in Parliament, but also from her upbringing to understand the real pressures and uh, uh, you know, difficulties that people in Britain are facing just now. And I think that's really important in terms of rebuilding trust and also ensuring that people know that the person at the top of government understands and relates to the problems that they are dealing with day to day just now.